Professor Kenderman, uh, a note that's a bit different from what we've been talking about, but I do feel like it is related somehow to creativity. While we're talking about fostering the individual, if that isn't done, if individuality isn't allowed to bloom, what kind of frustrations does that create within a person and how do they come out uh, in society? Well, I mean, not only in literature, but also in uh, psychological science, one of the more important factors of human existence is a sense of control, control over your life, control over the things that are important to you. So the, uh, even an education system, which is, um, which is designed to make the individual fit into the needs of an industrial capitalist society, man, I, I think that we may well be happier, uh, better off leaving the repetitive tasks to robots and having creative and um, innovative thinkers developed in our, in our education system. So people tend to thrive when they are in control, when they are free, when they are free, when they are um, empowered to explore the world rather than told what to do. So I think creativity and control and maybe even autonomy and freedom are all very closely related things. We tend to have problems, mental health problems and also social problems both when there are great inequities in society and also when people are, um, uh, are not allowed to have control over the things that are important to them.